Hi. A few minutes ago I finished recording a short series of three lectures on one topic in linear algebra. Uh, you're about to watch that series and I hope that you enjoy it. This is actually the board that we end up with, so it's a little bit of back to the future. And throughout the lecture I mentioned my textbook uh, that I wrote. It's really not a textbook, it's a small supplementary to existing textbooks. There are many excellent textbooks on linear algebra. I think one of the best ones for an engineering audience is Gil Strang's Introduction to Linear Algebra. <clears throat> but my approach is just a little bit different. Like I say throughout the lecture, I like emphasizing the combination of the geometric and algebraic perspective. And it's really they're working together that makes the subject so beautiful uh, to me. And I wrote a little supplementary text. It's only available as an ebook. It's actually available on Amazon, on Amazon, the Google Bookstore, and the iBookstore. You can find it in all of those stores. I mean, I tried to make it very inexpensive, and it's very easy to obtain, it's very easy to read, it's written in a very informal language, and it's really meant as a supplement to your linear algebra textbook, to your favorite linear algebra text. And it's called, Hello Again Linear Algebra, and it's really a second look at the subject. I collected lots of exercises, Lots of every exercise has a solution, and every set of exercises and solutions is prefaced by like an essay that discusses what those exercises are meant to illustrate. And it really emphasizes, emphasizes these core ideas that linear algebra, at least to me, is about the union, and it's really the perfect union of algebra and geometry. And that in moving fluidly from algebra and geometry, there is a lot to be gained. And the mechanism for moving from algebra to geometry is choosing a basis and representing all of the relevant elements of the problem with respect to that basis. At which point, any problem, no matter where it came from, becomes a set of num becomes a set of a becomes a set of numbers, and can therefore be analyzed by the robust methods that are available in algebraic linear algebra and matrix theory. And if algebra by hand is not good enough, is not, uh, the, if the problem is too complicated for doing algebra by hand, of course there are lots of numerical methods that are easily available uh, for you to be used. And that's why it's this combination that is so effective. And even before the advent of computers and numerical methods, it, the, when Linear algebra and geometry, look up a quote by Lagrange. Uh, he says essentially that before algebra and geometry came together, their movement was slow and their progress was uh, only occasional. But after they came together, the way he puts it is they lent each other their mutual forces and from that point on continued their march towards perfection. So that's Joseph Lagrange uh, touting the combination of linear algebra and geometry. And that's what my uh, little uh, ebook is meant to illustrate. And I really think that you will benefit from reading it and all of the nice examples and discussions that I came up with. It's short, it's easy to read, and it's easy to find. And I would very much appreciate your feedback, uh, you, your suggestions, your reactions, or anything at all that you want to tell me about. I hope you enjoy these next few very short lectures, and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.